Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to another episode of Queen <laughs> Hi, guys. This is Carla Lizardo here with Bianca Gedotti and Pia Words back. Hi, kamusta kayo? Okay naman. This is uh, our live. Kailan ba tayo last na nag-live? Two weeks ago? Yes. Uh-oh. It feels good yes. to do live again. Dati kasi every week tayo eh. Pero ngayon naging once every two weeks na lang. But I missed you guys and I missed everybody watching. Kumusta kayong lahat, Queendom? Hi, Queendom! Kumusta guys? Kumusta? <laughs> I miss you guys too. Grabe. Ang bilis, bilis ng panahon din. Um, Pia, grabe kung saan-saan ka na nakapunta. Oh my gosh. Kamusta naman dyan sa Marrakesh. It looks so beautiful. Ganda ng background mo. Kasi ano, um, after namin mag Maldives, dapat babalik kami sa London. Pero biglang mm-hmm. naging ano na nga dun, di ba? Parang tumodo yung new variant. Yeah. Yeah. So, ano ko, nat- kinabahan ako, tapos parang kinausap ko si Jeremy, sabi ko, parang hindi good idea na, kasi kung babalik, kasi may work din ako sa Philippines next month, hindi ako makakauwi sa Pilipinas kung pupunta ako sa London. So, parang sabi ko, let's go somewhere na wala sa ban list ng Pilipinas. Esakto, may work naman siya dito. Sabi ko, kaya ko rin mag-work from home. So, yeah. it all worked out in the end. Wow. It, it oh. really looks like a virtual background. So, <laughs> sobrang ganda. Lumipat nga ako eh, kasi ko yung, yung mga tumatawad sa likod ko kanina. Pero, <laughs> kayo it. guys, kumusta na? Kailan ba tayo magkikita? Pag-uwi mo, sana. Oh, well, hindi ko pala. <laughs> mga five months after uwi ka, calling it. <laughs> Grabe, di naman. Huwag naman. <laughs> By our birthday, by September, birthday month. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Believing it. Believing Sigur. in it. Trust. Saka naman. But of course, uh, maraming nagtatry mag-join sa Facebook group natin. And mm. sorry, we're just a little bit stricter now. Kasi lately, parang ang daming spammers na nakakapasok. Kaya nagdagdag lang kami ng questions. So please join our Facebook group. Doon tayo nagkukwentuhan outside of the show. And yun nga, like, please answer the questions. Kung nanonood naman kayo ng show, madaling-madali lang yan. So that we can um, approve also. Please don't spam the group, guys. Ano yung mga questions? Yung mga questions. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Yung questions ang naman favorite episode nyo. Tsaka ako, anong pangalan nating tatlo? So, sagutin ah, okay. nyo na, guys. Okay. Sa- sana naman. <laughs> standing it out there. And anyway, speaking of the Queendom, let's do our royal roll call. And actually, pwede palang makita yung, ano, yung mga top contributors dun sa wall ng group natin. And dun ko kinuha yung roll call natin for this week. Wow! So we're gonna say hi to our top contributors in the Queendom. First off, uh, hello Mike Herrera, Arniel Arellano, and Bam Adina. And of course, our dearest Queendom members in the Messenger group. Hi guys! Hello! I also want to say hi to Christopher Mako, Princess Villaluna, Raymond Saenz, and dahil wala kaming episode next week, and two weeks na ulit, happy birthday in advance to Mama Tony! We love you so much, and belated happy birthday to Trisha. We love you guys! Love you! <laughs> shout out din tayo kay E. Chad Santiago. I hope I'm saying your name right. E. Chad. Joel Albo- Joey Albos. Paolo Hambaro, and to everybody watching live on YouTube and Facebook, we are live and we can prove it. You can make me. I is it singing ko pala because um Drew said in the chat that Bam is celebrating his birthday today. Happy birthday, Bam! Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Bam. Thank you, thank you oh, for um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you for the information. So, welcome to the show. Today, we're gonna take a little trip down memory lane. Alam nyo yung memory sa Facebook. Nakita ko, grabe. Seven years ago, we were trying out for Bini Bini Pilipinas 2014. So, this is a uh, trip down memory lane kind of episode. And of course, nag-invite kami ng aming friend from 2014, Miss Universe Philippines, MJ Lastimosa. The forever. Miss Universe 2014, MJ Lastimosa. MJ all the way. The forever. Oh. <laughs> the forever Hashtag. ready. Ano, Grabe. Talagang, Grabe. ano namin to, idol. Yeah. Ayaw. 
OMG all the way. Hi, oh welcome to the show. show <laughs> no, alam mo nyo, totoo yan. Kasi like, nakilala ko si MJ sa training pa lang. And then, sabi, parang guys, pag nakita nyo si MJ, meron siyang grand entrance. Yun oh, always oh. ready. Kahit ano bukas mag Miss Universe, um, pwede na yan. Tapos dumating si MJ, tapos yung upo niya, iba talaga. Tapos kami parang, wow, saan maging ganyan rin kami. <laughs> Nang 2013 or 2012 pa ata to. But, yeah. Kaya Kamusta ka? Sumali, di ba? Di ba nagtitraining na ako for Miss World? <laughs> Confused na. 2012, 2012. Magkakilala na tayo ng 2012. Sali ng sali, taon-taon, so hindi ko na tuloy. Kamusta ka na? How's okay everything? Okay naman. Ang, ang sarap naman, ang sarap tingnan. Parang ano, iba, nasa iba-ibang bansa tayo ngayon. Lalo na si Pio din tayo. Okay. <laughs> I'm good naman. Eto, taking it day by day. And ayun, I I think it's okay to not be okay, no? Sometimes I have days na parang I'm feeling down, na parang ano ba to? May mangyayari pa ba sa buhay ko? But sometimes naman I'm grateful that I have all the time in the world to really, you know, to get to know myself better. Kasi minsan parang feeling natin, alam na natin lahat about our, ourselves. And then there would be some challenges na dumarating and then you're like, oh, ganito pala ako, di ba? Yun, ang daming discovery. Mm-hmm. Ang dami ko rin in, um, intake nitong um, 2020 pandemic. And ayun nga, self-discovery and then uh, more time with family and catching up with everyone. So parang na-appreciate ko rin yung downtime na you're not always rushing to do something or like, or even eating in your car in the middle of the oh. night. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> So, nakakapagluto-luto na rin ako ng sarili kong food. And then, ang dami, ang dami kong parang, ano, be- very domesticated <laughs> yung peg. Pero na-enjoy, na-enjoy ko naman. And, yeah. ayun, we, tayo naman, mga Filipinos, very resilient at We find ways. Tawa ba, Pete? <laughs> Pero MJ, mas na Manila ka ngayon, nakapag, ano ka ba, nakapag Christmas break ka ba, New Year's? Um, actually, ano nga eh, supposedly, pag um, holidays, yun lang yung time ko talaga to, to meet my family. I mean, yung family na kinalakihan ko sa province. Pero dahil nga sa pandemic, hindi, wala kami masyadong nagawa. So, um, parang tanggap naman namin lahat na we will let this, the 2020 year pass. Oh. Kasi understandable naman, ang hirap talaga mag-travel, hirap magkita-kita. So, Um, ayun, babawi na lang, hopefully. Pag, no. pag, pag may vaccination ng lahat. <laughs> and yeah, grabe. Kasi, kasi you can't force din naman, syempre, iba-ibang level tayo ng anxiety, di ba? Or yung iba naman, medyo, yes. medyo kalima lang, na okay lang yan, work out and stay healthy, okay lang yan. Pero yung ibang tao talaga talagang overthinking. And that's mm. me in the first few months of the pandemic kasi I'm asthmatic. Eh. Yung, yung asthma ko, ibang level. So parang ako, Every time may may na encounter ako ng stranger na parang huh, I have to sanitize, I have to wash, I have to shower or even level ng ng praning. But ano ayon somehow naging okay din naman ako na parang hindi na kakatulong yung anxiety, yung stress kasi hindi na hindi it's not good for your for your immune system then, de ba? Parang hindi mm-hmm. tama. Oh oh, kasi dapat lahat ng lahat ng level na sa balance ka balance. So, exactly. I really taught myself how to, you know, how to balance. Parang pageant lang. Um, <laughs> oh, na-apply pa yung pageant lesson sa life. Oh, yeah. Kanina pinag-uusapan lang namin, MJ, na seven years na since nag-compete seven tayo na lahat ba? together. Seven years. Akalain mo ba na uh, in seven, after seven years, mag-ganito tayo? Mag, diba? Na mag-zoom tayo. Hindi, actually, who would have thought? Pero, tignan mo naman yung mga, oh, tignan mo naman si Carla, si B, si P, para pa rin seven years ago, ganun pa rin naman tayo. Walang, walang in fairness, wrinkles. Yes. <laughs> in fairness sa atin. Oh, diba? <laughs> Pero mo sabihin seven years ago, nagpageon tayo. Hindi, diba? <laughs> Nene pa tayo. Na mag-iisang dekada na pala yun. <laughs> oh my gosh! 
Si Carlo Paul mas bata pa ngayon kaysa noon. Eh. Look at look at diba? that. Diba? Ang pangit sure. kasi ng styling ko ng binibini. <laughs> <laughs> kasi tinitingnan ko yung mga old photos natin. Sabi ko, ano ba ito na ka neon pink lipstick ako sa, ano, <laughs> sa presentation? Paano ka ba man mananalo talaga niyan? <laughs> Uso yun lang mo eh. Bakit gano'n? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Grabe. Ang uso, ang uso noon yung isang ano isang kilo ng eyeliner. Pag yes. Mga... <laughs> Sobrang totoo. Pag nakikita ko yung Saka mga... Saka yung nose line. Grabe. Sobrang dami kong eyeliner. Matang hub. <laughs> Oo. Ako din yung kilay ko noon. Nagan dito eh. <laughs> oh, bigil. bigil. Saka bigil. dito nagsisimula. Sa nose time. Nag-blender So pag ako na kalimang retouch na ako, pang pageant night na ulit yun. <laughs> Wala talaga kaming okay. magawa. May question so, ako, ako kasi nakikurious lang ako kasi di ba iba-ibang years ka sumali. <clears throat> Parang never pa kitang natanong pero hindi ko ta- hindi ko tatanungin ko ano yung favorite na year mo. Pero ano yung pinagkaiba-iba nung mga year na yun para sa sa experience mo? Um, sobrang iba-iba syempre. Yung 2011 kasi first time ko yun. Tapos, uh-huh. syempre yun yung parang nangangapa. I had no idea kasi sa probinsya, hindi naman ako nanonood ng Binibining Pilipinas. So parang, ang actually, first time ko nanonood ng Binibining Pilipinas was 2010 kay Venus oh. and it was live. Mm-hmm. Kasi naglalakad lang ako sa, sa Araneta before, bibili lang ako ng donut. <laughs> na nakita ako ni Direct Jeff Vitorian, pinahabol niya ako. And then, that's when they actually tried to convince me to join. And then, sabi nila, um, in a week, ano na, pageant night na, manood ka, try mo lang. So, binigyan nila ako ng ticket. And then, dun na, nakilala ko sila, Mama J. Tapos, nanalo si Venus. Tapos, sabi nga nila, alaga nila. So, that was my, actually, my first experience with Binibini. Pero, nagpa-pageant ako sa probinsya. Hmm. Hindi ko lang talaga may invention yung sarili ko na pang national level ako kasi I, do, I don't think na lahat naman tayo may ganung confidence agad di ba na parang oh kaya ko to <laughs> yung beauty ko pang ganito parang wala naman akong ganung ano before tapos ayun nga na um pinil uh, pinarsu nila ako na to come back to Manila to train with them so parang dati pa hiyang hiya pa ako mag ano mag swimsuit kasi sa Davao wala kaming swimsuit competition so parang nung ano nung nasa aces na tayo at pinag-swimsuit tayo, nahiya ako na parang ganyan. Tapos lahat sila, oh, ang ganda-ganda ng katawan mo, may abs kang ganyan. Pero syempre, hindi mo naman kasi, di ba? Hindi mo naman pag na mo yung, we are the biggest critic of ourselves eh. Na parang, laging feeling mo kulang, lahat ng mali. Na mo, parang dun, dun lang lagi tayo nagpo-focus. So parang, ako, I'm always focused on my flaws. And then I never really realized na, oh, you're, ano, yung parang pwede kang mag-compete actually to win. Wala akong ganung thinking pa nun. So parang 2011 was nangangapa. I was grateful na nandun sila Shanti, mga Bisaya, ganyan. I think isa sa mga nag-trigger sa akin to join again was because I became a runner-up and then lahat ng gagawin ng mga winner, kailangan akong gawin. Pero parang walang, alam mo yun, parang ginagawa mo yun lahat everyday, pero pa, wala namang ending. Oo, oh, wala kang sasalihan. <laughs> Gets, gets, the gets ko yan, mom. On the spot. Yung sa pool. Ayun, yung inagawa ko lahat ng training nila. Every day I go to whatever day at Carnegie, um, workout, uh, may mga Spanish class pa tayo before. Tapos, wala. Para iniisip ko after ng after nila mag turn over, anong gagawin ko? Yung ganun. Eh may mga sumali like si Dayanesha sumali na second time niya. So parang tapos when Shamsi was um preparing for Miss Universe, I was really there the whole um preparation niya kahit nung nasa Colombia na siya, na talagang nagbi-video call kami every day just to like really, you know, push her and then sabi niya, "Alam mo, kaya kaya mo naman 'to, eh. ganyan ganyan, gawin gawin mo sis." Sabi niya ganun. So parang ako talagang 
it became my dream. Kasi noong 2011, parang I just wanted to join lang. I just wanted to see. And then noong 2012, talagang sabi ko, alam ko na to, kaya ko na to, kasi ginawa ko na noong una. Um, I think that was one of the mistakes then. Yung mindset is very important in the competition. Um, so my, my mindset noong 2012, feeling ko alam ko na. Kasi nga, ginawa ko na. So parang, ah, uh-huh. ako na to. So I was like kind of in a box na. Na meron na akong pattern na sinusundan. Kasi in my head, this was what happened in 2011. Parang yun, yung, yun na yung ano ko. Yun na yung um, code ko. Yeah. Um, so I think yung mali dun, na wala na yung enjoying the journey and um realization na every year every diff- is different set of girls it's going to be a different experience it's going to be a different set of judges parang nawala na yung lahat sa akin masyado na akong naging focus na i should win this because it's my second time i already know what's gonna happen um i should nail this one tapos parang wala akong plan b na parang iniisip ko mananalo ako mananalo ako um it's one uh important thing sa lahat ng mga sumasali na you should also accept na yes, it's good to win, but it, but also you can fail. And it's also okay to fail. Kasi pag natalo ka, and then you don't know how to accept it. It's hard to, alam mo yun, it's hard to catch yourself again. So yun yung, yun yung talagang isa, isa sa mga mahirap na pinagdaanan ko noong 2012 na I wasn't really expecting. Parang iniisip ko, Ah, siguro pag hindi ako nanalo ng Miss Universe, may ibang crown pa naman. Yung parang ganun yung nakiisip ko ng time. Yeah. And then, suddenly, after the the pageant night, flat, wala, di ba? Top 10, um, finalist. Wala akong plan B. I was in Manila. Hindi, wala naman akong bahay sa Manila. Wala akong family. Wala akong gagawin the next day. I wasn't as busy as 2011. Pero yeah. what what's good, um, what's good in having a camp is may sasalo sa'yo. May family ka na nandyan para sa'yo. Maruka was there with me the whole night. Parang ako tameme lang. I can't even cry. I have no feelings. So parang, yeah. huh? Tapos na? Ano ba yun? Ba't ganun? Yun yung feeling ko. Um, shocked. Oo, shocked. Yung parang hindi pa, hindi pa siya. Shell shocked. Hindi thing. siya pa nag-absorb. Oo. Oo. Pero after 2012, I gave up na. Na parang sabi ko, I tried naman na my best. I gave my all and then yun na, yun na yung pageant journey ko. I wasn't really expecting na my third time pa until you know, upper um opportunities just came up kasi nag-adjustment of age, whatever. And then, ayun, some people really believed in me and then they tried to convince me again to join to never give up on my dreams and then I realized na anong mawawala? I think the mindset was kinakaiba noong 2014. I didn't really, I wasn't really there to compete with other girls kasi I know that it's a fact na you can't change how they compete but you can change yourself the way you think, the way you present yourself. So I was just focused on myself at that time kasi I know that it's myself na it's going to be the, my biggest competition. So in 2014, I actually cried even before the the pageant started. Nung sasayo pa lang tayo, niyak na ako kasi I was just so grateful to have that opportunity to be there, to be there na maipakita na this is a different MJ na mas relax, na I am just enjoying this, I am just really happy to be given another chance and yeah. I am okay to fail this time. So, sobrang iba ng, ng mindset ko noong 2014. Mas magaan. Kaya, I think yun yung, yun yung pinagkaiba ng tatlong year ng pagsali ko, which I never regretted. I was just, I, I'm, I'm still, I am, I embrace the whole Binibining Pilipinas experience and I am not going to change any part of it. And I know that, you know, everything happens for a reason. Uh-huh. And lahat yun pagdadaanan ko because God, know, God knows I can handle it. 
Tama. Actually, ang haba ng sagot. No, okay lang. Maganda. I mean, oh. syempre, it was, a, it was a long journey for you. Tapos, yes. naalala ko lang, may naalala lang akong moment na, I don't know why, it just came to me, na sobrang chill lang kasi talaga ng 2014. Tapos si MJ, one day, meron siyang michi-pichi. Tapos sabi niya, babe, gusto mo? Tapos sabi ko, Siyempre, diet, di ba? Sabi niya, kataba naman yan. Relax ka lang. Akala ko, hindi. Akala mo ba yung ano ko ito? Pinapataba. Hindi naman. Sobrang stress ko lang. Pero, alala ko na parang, oo nga, bakit pa ako sobrang stress? Like, payat na naman tayo, guys. Basta maalala ko noon, hindi ko in-expect na bigla kang Well, kasi laging usap-usapan na sasali si MJ, sasali si MJ, gano'n. Kahit noong 2013, baka sasali si MJ, sasali si MJ, ganyan. Lagi namang bulong-bulungan yun yeah. o rumors na ito na ito na yung year na sasali siya ulit. Tapos, And may mga, no, laging may mga, uh, mga wish list sila. Oo. Laging kusama doon sa mga wish list. Nung bigla siyang pumasok doon sa screening, promise ha, wala tong etos, kinabahan ako. Uy, umili na ito. Lahat! Kinabahan tayo doon. As in, as in when it was confirmed. <laughs> Naalala ko yun eh, like, syempre, uh, ako, at the time, I was very, very new to pageantry. So, hindi ko talagang talaga alam yung mga pangalan ng mga sinasabi nila na, ah, si, si Diane din eh. Naalala ko, yun din yung parang kinakatakutan natin. MJ. Diana Arevalo. Diana Arevalo. Diana Arevalo. There you go. So, um, ako, hindi ako masyadong familiar. So, syempre, ako, stuck na ako sa Instagram. Sabi ko, sino mo ito? Ano si mas- sino sila? So, nakita ko si MJ. Sabi ko, oh my gosh. Tapos, so, nakita ko na siya sa balay. Yung screen na nandun doon siya. Sa so, Gloria Maris. Gloria Maris. Sa so, Gloria Maris tayo noon. Ayun. So, sabi ko, Di, di ba first sa balay tayo? Naalala ko kasi... Guys, ang dami uh, nating screening eh. Um, <laughs> mga 200 screenings na yun na yun eh. Sunod-sunod yun. Sunod yun. 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 Balay nga, balay nga, balay. So, Naka-pink kaya ako person, nung first day eh. Naka-pink ako, kaya. Oh, si MJ? Ano ba so? Parang naka... Or green. Naka-green, emerald green. Basta meron kang mga gown noon. Or dresses yeah. na customized sa'yo. Kay... Oo. Oh, oh. Diba? Naalala ko pa yun. Naalala ko pa yun. Mama Kim gan. Ayan. Oh, Mama Kim! Oh, yeah! Naalala ko na. Ang mga off-shoulder and mga hanggang knee-length ng mga dresses. Kasi sabi niya, ano ba, sexy ka na, dapat ano, takpan na natin yan. Kasi syempre may kurba na. So talagang ginawa niya ako ng mga outfit na hindi ko naman in-expect. So parang, ayun, nakulok. Nakapin. Sobrang last minute ba ng pag-decide mo sumali? Kasi alala ko, I super remember, nag-dinner pa tayo eh. Like a few weeks before ng screening. Sabi ko, babe, tatry ko na, sasali na akong binibini. Parang bahala na bago ko magano. Tapos parang wala ka pang plan nun eh. So kailan ka nag-decide? No? Um, actually, wala nga ata ako sa country nun eh. Wala ako sa Philippines nun. I think I was in the States or somewhere. Um, yeah. And then I, I kept on getting calls. And then I think magda-December na yun. Siguro mga last week of December na. Diba January yung ano, screening. And then, um, ayun nga, I, I keep on getting calls. Pero it was heavy then for me to decide to join again. Kasi it's going to be with a different camp. Yeah. So, um, and considering na I really, you know, may nabuo ng... Um, relationship with the with the mamas with the previous camp, so parang it was yeah. really heavy for me on how to actually break the news. Na I I made up my mind to join again and try it with different group of people. Not because I don't trust you, not because I don't trust the you know the 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 organization, but I just wanted to try my my own luck and I just wanted to you know a different environment, but not because I don't love you. Yung parang hindi ko lang talaga alam kung paano. I don't think there's um, any way that I could have said na it wouldn't hurt them. Parang yeah. it was it was really hard for me. I had um, so many so many sleepless sleepless nights na parang paano ko ba sasabihin to. Lalo na kay Mama Rupa na sobrang super duper close. So, 
it was a tough decision and it was very very last minute and mm-hmm. ayun talagang may na hurt talaga kasi nga family naman talaga tayo sa camp ba diba? um and sa family syempre pag sinabi mo doon ako sa Limbawa, ako, lastimosa, eh, doon ako makikipag-reunion sa patrimonyo. <laughs> eh di syempre, masasaktan talaga yung mga lastimosa, di ba? Yung parang yeah. so, gets, gets. It was, ano naman, understandable na may mga hurt talaga. Kasi ang haba na rin ang pinagsamahan, eh, ibang years na rin. And um, it was actually a really hard uh, journey for me. Although, kaya it was very important for me in 2014 na uh, to keep my mental health at the end Kasi, syempre, hurtful, hurtful words were thrown. Then, I would, there were nights na I would literally cry every night and then, you know, just shake it off the next day because, syempre, hindi dumidikit yung makeup pag <laughs> puyat and I, um, eye bags. Yeah. <laughs> totoo, <laughs> guys. Totoo, totoo yan. yan. Parang sobrang um, hindi pa siya nagagawa ng any candidate ng mga panahon na yun. Was, as compared sa ngayon, parang hindi na masyadong big deal yung pagtalon-talon. O merong iba na gumagawa na lang ng sarili nilang team, parang ginawa ni Katriona. So parang, parang mas, ano, mas okay na siya ngayon. Pero nung time mo kasi parang tingin ko kasi dahil sobrang love ka din nung team. Dahil yes. ikaw yung alas nila. Parang ito yung... Ace, the diamond. Eh, legit, legit. Uh-oh. So parang, oh no, we lost one. Ganyan. So parang, um, pero, pero kinahin mo lahat yun. I mean, na-imagine ko yung, yung pinagdaanan mo, um, as in, ang hirap, no? Pero, grabe, ang dami mong pinagdaanan. Ang dami nga. Pag naisip ko ngayon, paano ko ginawa yun? <laughs> paano ko na-survive yun? Pero, Uh-oh. Um, hindi naman ibibigay sa iyo yung isang situation pag hindi mo kaya no yung mm, pag, yeah, when yeah. you're in that certain situation you, you just you think na why me bakit sa akin binabato tong ganito kabigat na na experiences but then after that you'll realize na God is directing you pala to somewhere yung parang when you're just in the situation you just can't imagine how how is it gonna end for you na parang there's no way out yung parang bakit why is this why all of these things are happening to me but then you just have to learn how to always look at the glass <laughs> half full <laughs> pero pero ano, how did it feel nung finally ayan natawag ka na as Miss Universe Philippines tas naisip mo ba agad na eto na pupunta ako sa Miss Universe kanyan kasi i think out of every one of us at that time ikaw talaga yung ang, ang dami mo nang beses sumali so parang ang tagal mo na siyang gusto, ganun. I mean, di ba, I mean, kom- lahat tayo nag-compete in the same year. Pero alam ko, sa sarili ko, na matagal mo na siyang gusto at talagang parang yes. anong feeling nung nakuha mo na siya, finally? Actually, hindi ko nga alam ba't ako umiiyak na bago pa tawagin eh. Pero so, kasi nakita ko yung video, umiiyak na ako. Pero ba't ako umiiyak? <laughs> nakita ko yung sarili ko, ba't ako umiiyak? Ba't ang OA? <laughs> 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 Sobrang, ano, so, ang dami-daming emotions kasi that night. Kasi nga, di ba, third time mo, so parang pag natalo ko, iyak din naman ako. Pag hindi ako, pag nanalo ko, iyak din naman ako. Siguro ganun, kaya ako umiiyak na. But, um, I was just really happy. Hindi ko, nai- hindi ko pa naiisip yung Miss Universe nung time na yun, nung nanalo ako. But, I was savoring that victory kasi third time na yun eh. And mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. the greatest achievement that night for me was mm-hmm. when a lot of girls approached me and said na, you gave me hope. I, mm-hmm. I'm i not hurt. May mga girls na lumapit sa akin na sinabi na, alam mo, hindi ako nasakta na natalo ko ngayon kasi I'm, ano, you're my inspiration na parang mm-hmm. I can try again. So, I was really happy nung, nung gabi na na It's the the victory is, is not just for me. Na, na parang I gave other girls hope na it's okay to 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 lose, you know. It's okay na parang if you really want this, you can work harder. There's always a next year for you if you really want. Cho kaya yung so, ano, yung parang pinagdaanan mo dahil sa paglipat mo ng kamp, parang nag-pay off, na parang na-prove mo na hindi porket lumipat ka ibig sabihin it's a bad move. 
you actually prove na it was a good move, di ba? So parang grabe. Like, well, say, parang sa yun naman yun. Like, you know, like just I guess trusting yourself to make decisions yeah. like that. Exactly. exactly. Diba? Parang, I guess wala lang kasi tayong masyadong freedom rin or, I don't know, kasi ngayon, di ba, parang people will create their own groups. So yeah. completely nag-iba na siya. So mm-hmm. it was definitely a break. Always, move. always trust your your gut feel, feel no. Because parang ikaw pa rin yun eh. Alam mo kung ano yung mm-hmm. yung makakabuti for yourself. And Tama. that's your dream me. Eh. Basta as Tama. long as for me, wala ka namang inaapakang ibang tao. Sa so pagpursu mo sa mga pangarap mo, then it's fine. Tama. Mm-hmm. Actually, if then, anything, you know, um, I was just gonna say, if anything, um. I admire, like looking back now, I really admire the fact that you were that brave to to do that, to really follow something that you thought would be best for you. And yeah, like you said, you weren't trying to hurt the people around you. Unfortunately, that that's what happened. But you were just trying to be who you are and, you know, fighting for what you thought was right for you. And um, I think... Um, it, that's something that a lot of girls were able to kind of learn from, I think, mm-hmm. um, throughout the years. Na you know, hindi sa pagiging selfish ha, but it's yes. really more about standing your ground. Because in yes. Filipino culture, on like with uh, us women, we are kind of more expected to do what we're told, uh, do yeah. what 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 is expected of you. And means that mas mahirap na to go against what you think what other people are saying to you and just be like you know i know what i, I what is best for me and it's right. so hard sometimes to do that so well i've never said this to you and honestly no. you know years of um kind of maturity na rin and looking back yeah. and, you know yeah. experiences yeah. natin and i really it's <clears throat> admirable and even up to now you're such a strong independent woman you've always been like that um, even when I said that we were going MJ, I was like, oh, I'm going to get a ride. Hello, guys. I'll give you a ride. Where are you? That's it. Yeah. No one, yeah. no one picked her up that. or anything like that. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And even... Oh, thank you. Breakfast <laughs> 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 uh, And even... Sorry. I'm going to get a ride. But even if it's clear, I mean... St- top contender ka and um um parang ano na lang eh parang hinihintay mo na lang na koronahan ka hindi hindi ka intimidating alam mo yon yung nakikita ko nag-reach out ka talaga sa mga girls kahit yung mga hindi mo kakam yes. reach out ka to sumutulong ka sa kanila kaya i i mean i think alam naman ng mga fans to na talagang super warm mo pagdating sa mga co-candidates and pati sa mga supporters mo. Kaya nga, ang strong ng fanbase mo noon. Super! <laughs> MJ all the way, ganyan. Yeah. Until <laughs> now! Until <laughs> now! Actually, until now, sobrang active pa rin nila. Kahit na, yes. hindi na, hindi na ako, ako yung napag-uusapan yung mga um, whatever. Ka, ngayon kasi ang dami ng pageant eh. So parang kahit anong pageant na yung nangyayari, they, they talk in the group. So parang naging family na talaga, nakakatawa, and ayun, yung may kanya-kanya na silang bet, and sinishare nila sa akin. So ayun, nakakatawa na nabuo yung family, and nandiyan oh. pa rin sila hanggang yung iba doon, hanggang mula 2011 pa yata, so nag-isang dekada. <laughs> nag-isang Amazing. dekada. Na yeah, so yun yung isa mm-hmm. sa mga greatest gift ko na na-take ko from the, from the pageant. And... For me, kasi galing akong North Cotabato and wala akong masyadong mga kaibigan dito sa Manila. So, na, sa, ang dami ko na rin mga nasalihang competition sa uh, sa probinsya. And then, for me, after the competition, the competition is done na. Pero pag hindi mo ka naibigan yung tao, what's gonna happen after? Di ba? Magtitignan oh, oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> mag yeah. lang kayo. I'm so grateful na I reached out. Kasi hanggang ngayon, I still have friends na... Ano yung masasabi mong kaibigan mo from the from the pageant? I have Shamsi na simula pa noong 2011 hanggang ngayon naging ninang mm-hmm. na lang ako ng mga anak niya. Naging bridesmaid mm-hmm. na sa kasal. <laughs> naging yeah. bride oh. ako ng mga big events niya sa sa family niya. I'm, I'm very proud of those things. And I really treasure all my friends. 
actually, I'm so thankful for our Bini Bini batch. 2014, shout out sa inyo because everyone was chill. I mean, yeah. it was enjoyable because oh. tayo yung magkakasama. It was, hindi siya sobrang competitive yes. na lagi kong. Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, everyone was super chill. <laughs> So I'm happy that I experienced Bini Bini with that group of girls. And of the, course, I grew. Totoo, totoo. I think, I don't, I don't remember exactly when this was, but there was a time na malapit na tayo ata mag, mag final night noon. And gumawa tayo ng video that we were all dancing or singing, oh, like the whole yeah. of us. Yeah. I don't know if you guys remember that. Yes. that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, think, kasi parang, I think that was on uh-oh. my Instagram pa. Ano, ano yun, yung parang... I think so too. Uso siya na sayaw or kanta at yeah. that time. Parang <laughs> crazy dance lang, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Was it yung... Ah, yung... Wait. Ah, was it yung... Yung dati parang ano? Yung call me baby. Call me baby pa. In the 2012 pa yun eh. Sorry. Ano ako kasi Miss World meron kami. Basta we were like up and then we started dancing. Yeah. Pero ang At, saya. Harlem Shake. Harlem Shake. Harlem Shake. Yeah. It was Harlem Shake. Nasaan na kaya yung yun? Does anyone have it? I have that. I have Instagram ko. I posted that one. Okay, let's look for it. Let's look for it. Gabi. They post natin sa ano, kwentuhan. Yeah. Iba talaga yung bond ng ano eh. Ng... Napakaraming screen eh. Oo. Ano, Close na tayo bago pa lang mababa. I think kailangan matutunan niya ng mga pageant girls na you you should know when to when to turn on your competitive mode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Backstage ka, hindi naman pwedeng, alam mo yun. Oo oh, naman. Laging, laging competitive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be, totoo yan. Totoo. And I think it's a challenge that I think pageant pageant girls in general are kind of competitive already. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can't you can't not want to join a pageant and not be competitive. Competitive. Diba? Yeah. Me, me, meron pero ka, we, we gotta learn then ha- to know when to turn that on and yeah. turn that off. And nasan ba yung linya? Like yes. um that you know you can you can still be very competitive, but right. um there's a line that you can't cross. Because I remembered Parul. Parul is one of the favorites then, de ba? Yeah. Oh yeah. But she's very really, really helpful. Talaga kung pwede lang make up niya lahat ng mga babae, minimis. Gagawin niya. Totoo na. Diba? Sobrang sobrang tinutulungan niya lahat. Because ako normally I catch up, I catch up with sleep. Pag tambay lang tayo sa balay, matutulog ako. Ninanaw ako na yung mga monoblocks, tapos maglalagay na ako ng malong, matutulog na ako. Yeah. Kasi parul talaga, talaga ng todong make-up pa rin. Wala yung time, parul. <laughs> I mean, she's Marami very, very, time. She's very, very competitive. Oh, pero she's very helpful as well. Diba? Kung tutuusin mo yung Tama. pagtulong mo ng make-up nga, kakabuti pa ng, ng kalaban mo yun, hindi ng sarili mo. Pero, you know, yeah. Diba? If, if, if ikaw naman confident ka sa sarili mo and you know that you've done your your assignment and you've done your research, wala ka nang ikakatakot na you can be there as a sister and a competition on stage. So, yun. I think I think it's one of the good things kasi siya, senior na rin siya eh. Parang she was a repeater na rin. That, mm. Siguro yun, yun, yun na yung mga nakuha niya from, from past, from ano, binibini experience. MJ, gusto ko namang ano, gusto ko namang mm. Uh, tanungin ka kung kumusta yung ano yung preparation mo naman papuntang miss you kung ano yung mga memorable ano yung mga naging challenges curious ako curious talaga ba <laughs> iba na eh sobrang iba na the <laughs> time para you know, not have that much as much control as the girls have now oh. so how was oh. that i think that was the last um the last representative who have no control over what I'm going to wear, what I'm going to bring. Um, actually, isa sa mga pinakamahirap na, na part nun was I don't even know what I'm going to wear at all. I've never seen them. I've never fitted them. Yung mga, yung mga worries na ganun. And you know that you're competing, competing in the biggest stage of your 
um life mm-hmm. to date and then knowing na hindi mo man lang alam kung ano yung susuotin mo uh it was very tough mm-hmm. pero nag mindset na lang ako na whatever it is i'm just gonna you know i'm just gonna go with it and I'm just gonna, i'm gonna try my best kasi I, those are the things that I can change, eh, but I'm going to control the things that I can control. So, parang mm-hmm. accepted ko naman na talaga na mangyari yun. So, I just try to, you know, focus on other things. Um, Preparation-wise, I was just really grateful na ang Philippines naman hindi nagkukulang sa mga tao really, you know, really willing to help without anything. Mm-hmm. In Talagang I was really getting a lot of help, mga shoes, makeup, um, dresses, kahit nung nasa Florida na ako, ang dami-dami ng Filipinos na if I need something kasi ang daming mga um, schedules and may mga events, activities na wala sa sa program. Like for example, we have to go to, kasi we were in Florida, we were in Miami that time. Sabi nila, oh pupunta tayo sa NBA gym, kailangan magsuot ng athletic wear. Huh? Wala akong dalang pang... <laughs> so may mga no. rescue lagi where I'm just so grateful to be from the Philippines na talagang we're pageant phase mm-hmm. na Tama. isang tawag mo lang na ma, I, I need this may may package na agad the next day and ayun, hindi, naging, naging madali siya actually, yung mga things na kailangan mo pang i-worry sana kung wala kang, walang tumutulong sa'yo um, naging ano na siya, naging mas magaan, I think mm-hmm. and to think in Florida, mas konti yung Filipinos doon, but they really ano uh, they 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 really manage kasi it's a Latin parang it's a mini Latin uh, oh. mas malapit mm-hmm. sa mga Latin countries so mas maraming mga Latino din pero may mga Filipinos pa rin naman iilan not as much as the west coast pero ayun talagang super willing to help there 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 lalo na nung sobrang luwang nung gown ko <laughs> um the white, the white one the white one the white I remembered in preliminary, I have to hold it sa waist the whole time kasi talagang bumabagsak siya. It was really loose. Kasi syempre, competing, alam nyo naman lahat yan, kahit kumain ka, you're losing weight, right? Yeah. Kasi the, the mm. stress and lack of stress. Weight, and then, we're still working out at the same time and then, Tama. nagda-diet ka pa, talagang, nag, yung, um, oo, yung weight mo talaga naglo-lose pa towards the kahit na and hindi ko pa na fit yung gown ko wala akong I've never fitted it I've only actually seen my gown nung mga ilang weeks na lang or like a week or so days before the preliminary so um ayun na dami challenges but I was just really grateful na namin Filipinos who were there na nandang tumulong kasi I don't think na tayo I don't think will be ever, will survive our competitions without them. That's so true. That's so no? true. And we're so lucky. How? I can't, I can't even imagine na parang paano nagagawa ng ibang countries yun, like mga European countries na they they just do everything out of their pockets or like oh. you know, the, their oh. families. So yun yung mga things na I realized na I'm just so grateful mm-hmm. I'm experiencing this with this whole country in my back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who's willing to help you and appreciated ng ibang countries yun. Chaka na ka ano ang ang close pa din ng friendship mo with yung yung batch mo. Kayo yata yung batch na halos every year or I think every year meron talaga every kayo year. reunion, super close talaga kayo. Tapos pagka reunion, ang dami nyo ha. Hindi yung parang tatlo lang, apat lang. As in, ang dami. Ang saya nyo. So parang normally yung Go P. So parang uh, nakapag-compete ka pero na, na-apply mo pa rin yung kailangan kong magkaroon talaga ng meaningful na connections with yung mga co-candidates ko, ganyan. Kahit na magkakaibang lahi kami. Ang galing. Ang galing talaga. Yeah. May um, panggap kayo mag-reunion <laughs> ulit. <laughs> sorry, kasi sorry. Lagi kasi na po tol. Sorry. <laughs> well, what I did nung ano nga, kasi nga I was really grateful, di ba, na after, uh, after the third try, I will be experiencing Miss Universe. Like, are you kidding me? That was just a dream. No, para mm-hmm. what? I will compete in Miss Universe. Yung parang ganon yung iniisip ko nung papunta ako ng um, Miss Universe. So I have this little book, and then nandun kasi yung mga um, I write mga random possible answers. Pag may naisip ako mga possible questions, 
just when I am in the middle of something, I think of something, and then I'm like, oh, I can I can answer this way. So I have like uh, a note, and then I write everything down, and then I realize na um kunin ko kaya contacts ng lahat. Ang dami no na A to Z. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> so I really, so every time na ano na I have a free time, I would write down name, email, Twitter, Instagram, blah blah blah. Parang high school lang ng thing. So I, I wrote every slam book. From, <laughs> <laughs> A to Z. So I pass it around para lang ma-check ko na lahat ng countries na check ko. So I have the the contacts of everyone. And uh, parang yung ginawa ko every time na may ano kami, um, lunch, uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, iba-ibang group of table yung inuupuan ko para makuha ko yung mga contacts na lalay. Kasi ganun, ganun di ba, P? Like mga Latinas, one group yun sila lagi, laging contact yun sila. And then Asian girls always hang together. And then mga African girls always hang together. Mga European, um, mostly because of the language. Na exactly. yung same language. So sila yung nagahang. Mm-hmm. Ako, I, I see to it na I sit in every different group every time. <laughs> minsan, pa, minsan, pa yung, minsan pa yung mga European later. <laughs> 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 Norway, who turned out to be such a sweet girl, such a doll. Pero nung nag sorry talaga siya, sabi niya, I will, I'm so sorry, MJ. Um, when you were asking for my for my um details, I sabi, sabi niya do sa akin later, kasi ano daw she was so focused and understandable yeah. naman. Kasi syempre, iba rin yung anxiety during the competition. Tapos yeah. we have autograph, de ba? Autograph. Also, I think. Doon mo rin makikita kasi culturally, tayo mga Pilipino, yeah. parang we're, oh, culturally, tanan naman tayo, um, parang we're supposed to be as accommodating as possible, but Europeans, mas frank sila sa gusto nila yes. eh. Parang, kung yeah. hindi talaga nila bet, di nila bet at sasabihin nila sa'yo. And yeah. they're not trying to hurt you, but it's just how they yeah. are. Diba? Yeah, Pero, yeah. <laughs> Pero ako kasi talaga, insisting ako, sabi niya later, edi eh, bumalik ako later. <laughs> Oh, the bar. I need it. I need the info. <laughs> so, who's your best friend? Mo? May, may naging best friend ka ba yon sa Miss Universe MJ? Did you have a best friend? Yeah. Um. Naging best friend ko siya after na nung nagreunion na kami si si Miss si Miss Norway. Ah, si Miss si Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah. Oh, oh, super si Elvira. Super Elvira. close na namin. Kasi hindi. I think it was really hard to be close to someone else other than your roommate pag nasa pad. Mm. Kasi daging oh, yeah. on the go eh. And then sometimes, it's because na sobrang dami ng girls yung ginagawa ng Miss Universe, pumipili lang sila ng mga ilang countries to do this activity and then the other set of girls will do this activity. So there are days na talagang hindi kami magkakasama. And then there are days na wala namang ginagawa so lahat na sa kasi na sa dural kami medyo limited ng yung activities namin doon eh. um yeah and then sometimes talagang iba-ibang group of girls yung kasama ko sa mga activities but yes. the reunion really talagang doon kami naging naging close. close yun nga so dahil nga sa sa contact details ko when miss india reached out nasabi niya let's make a group chat sabi niya ganoon sabi ko, okay. So, pinigturan ko lahat ng ano, binigay ko sa kanya. So, inad niya lahat dun sa sa group chat group chat namin. And thankfully, until now, it's very active. At nung nag-invite si, yung fir- first reunion kasi namin, um, bachelorette ni Miss USA sa sa Las Vegas. Kasi she was Miss Nevada. Oo. So, nung nag, ano kami, um, pumunta ka, mga siguro mga 15 lang kami pumunta at first. And then we realized na we should do this every year. This is so fun. Mm. Tapos, sabi, na, sabi naman, let's just try to figure out how to lessen the expenses. So, ginagawa namin, we, we tap mga uh, sponsors, like, alam mo yun, yung mga hotel, restaurants, mga malaking yeah. tulong na rin yun eh. So, ang gagastusin mo na lang, flight, and then, parang influencer, influencers traveling, yung ganun. But I think the yes. best one was when we did the Mexico, the last one in 2019. Um, mm-hmm. incorporated uh, ano na rin, mga yung advocacy namin na oh. we visit na rin kami ng mga so sabi namin tutuloy na rin natin gagawa na rin kami ng advocacy and then we'll invite na rin other girls from this universe. Kasi wala naman tayong ginagawa after the competition eh, no? na parang Totoo. 
Totoo. Wala na after the competition, hindi na nagkakasakasama eh. I, I think yeah. it's, it's a good platform na parang this is a different platform, di tayo nagkakompete, but we're still helping others and Tama. bonding. So, yun yun sa ating goal namin, sana, sana matuloy <laughs> pag natapos yung, yung pandemic. And mm-hmm. we really hope to inspire other batches na ayun, maging close din. Kasi ang sarap magkaroon ng kaibigan around the world and you know, yung hindi na, I have to silent my phone and to turn off not- notifs kasi iba-iba yung time zone eh. <laughs> Minsan madaling araw nag- nagme-message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kasi iba-iba yung time zone. But then pag may naisip akong puntahan na lugar, I always have someone naman na pwedeng i-reach out. So, I'm not feeling alien na sa maraming, maraming country, which is I'm, I'm really grateful. Yeah. So ayun. So during the mga one of the reunions, naging close kami ni Miss Indonesia and we're super best friends now that we talk every day. Oh. We, we've actually spent um siguro dalawang new years na together. Supposedly this new year ulit, pero because of the pandemic, mm-hmm. ayun nga. Oo, hindi, hindi na tuloy yung mga plans namin and then became very, very close. It's so it's so weird kasi knowing that Indonesia and Philippines laging alam niyo na yung mga yeah, yes. yeah. War, the, the, the keyboard warriors <laughs> so better to start you know, no? Kasi parang dati nung nung nagko-compete tayo nung 2014, parang hindi ko naman ma-feel na grabe yung away ng Philippines at Indonesia. Parang yeah. play team na lang siya, no? Hindi pa nung well, it's some mess universe where they pitting um, you against each oh, other no. with messages kasi ako I was really bullied nang grabe talaga talagang I'm just, I'm just grateful na I turned off all my social medias kasi nakita ko siya after yun eh yung back online pero sabi ko my gosh isa dagdag stress pa pala to kung nakita ko to when I was competing pero grabe talaga yung yung bashing and bullying online and I don't think I don't think they realize no the effect sa mga girls So, okay naman yung mga girls sa isa't isa eh. Yung yeah. Philippines at Indonesia. Okay naman, yeah. parang wala naman akong alam na nag-isnaban ever. Right. Pero yung mga fans, yung galit na galit sa isa't isa. Yeah. And it, 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 that's the worst na parang ia-attack rin yung girl. Like, yeah. aside from them oh. fighting, like, the dami. Parang, guys, as in reminder to, like, the pageant community, hindi nyo mga kailangan hatakin yung ibang girl para iangat yung sinusuportahan nyo. Right. right. It do anything. Sobrang toxic. Oh. Oo. May hinari pa rin hanggang ngayon, di ba? Yeah. Yung mm-hmm. kay Rabia, ganyan, parang, ay, kailan ba ito matatapos? Kahit ilang beses tayo magsalita, kahit ilang beses yeah. tayo mag- mag-statement, mag- Yeah. Alam mo yung parang ang hi- Kasi ang weird diba Kasi ang, ang girls naman sa pageant All about unity Kahit magkakaiba yeah. tayo ng life Pinanggalingan ng right. Religion, lahat Kahit pa paano, sagsasama-sama Pero hmm. kasi yun naman ang message mo lagi As a beauty queen Pero tama, parang tama. ma-apply ng mga Hindi lahat, pero ng ibang mga part Parang say- uh-uh. sayang Sayang Well, maybe it no, no. will get better. I, well, I mean, I, I might just be like super positive. Pero, you know, I guess if more of us like just keep speaking out about it, sana, yeah. what else can we do? Mm. And I think, <laughs> and I think only now we're naman tayo really facing that and speaking about that. So I think step by step, in small little ways, that we're still there. Uh, of course, we, we we can't expect that one day it will be forever gone and everything will be perfect. That's, yeah. that's wishful thinking, you know. Yeah. But hope at least you know, mabawasan. And also, mabig- it's good then for the girls to be able to talk about it so they know. And it's good for the girls to hear us talk about it yeah. so they know that they're yeah. not alone. And even, you know, ang dalawang Miss Universe Philippines na to, kahit natalo sila and everything, they still get that. And because you know it means that it's not because you're you're worthless it just happens to right. everybody and and, and don't right. let it affect you na lang diba yeah. Uh, yeah. um like nature of the beast as of now pero yeah. paunti-unti <laughs> feeling ko feeling ko may iba din yan 
Pero ayun. So MJ, like when you went to Miss Universe, so this was finally, you know, you're gonna go compete sa Miss Universe. Ano yung mga uh, preparation mo for that? Ano ba yung mga priority mo at that time? Did you know exactly what you wanted to do uh, for the competition or um, how did you prepare? Um, actually, it was very challenging preparing for the competition because my year, it, um, our pageant actually happened in 2015, na, January 2015. Because hmm. they can't even give us a date. So, and dami ng speculation now, it's gonna happen October and then November and then December. Yeah, so, yeah. Parang, I was, it, it started from, I was really, really preparing for it, working out as much as possible and then um, lahat ng Q&A trainings and then every every possible preparation that I can do I have done in the first few months and then towards the end of the year wala pa rin, alam mo yun yung hindi mo alam kung kailan is it, was it, is it certain that it's gonna happen is it going to be gano ba katagal yung delay um, is it still gonna happen or postponed kasi mm-hmm. pag December na wala pa rin kaming date kung kailan, yeah. kailan kami magkocompete yeah. So parang I the feeling was always I'm always hanging na mm. kasi diba tayo pag nagko-compete tayo may mindset tayo na ganito yeah. um by this may 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 timeline eh diba mm. na pagdating ko sa ganitong month like ganito yung diet ko dahil pag pagdating ko sa ganitong month kailangan I'm in shape like this yung may mga ganun tayong mga preparation so hindi ko matapos tapos tapos tayo kasi I'm always like hanging kailan ba mangyayari mangyayari siya this year next year um, mm-hmm. It was it was very very challenging waiting for the for the final say kung kailan at saan and um, mm-hmm. I think uh, and daming best nilang nag change ng ng location ng dates mm-hmm. and then finally mm-hmm. they said it's going to be January first week and then they, they said na uh, alis kami um, Christmas time mga ganyan tapos hindi pa rin hanggang natapos sa langin New Year <laughs> it was it was crazy pero yeah. um, with the help of the sisters, kayo nandyan, mm. nandun, nandun din kayo, natapos na lang kayo mag-compete lahat. I was still waiting Oo for nga. <laughs> Nakailang sleepover na ako sa Araneta. <laughs> Wala pa rin akong schedule. Um, uh, ano, I, I think it just... Kasi nga, may, may basis na rin ako dahil yung runner-up na rin ako from before. I just did what I know is, you know, was what's needed to do. And yeah. I, really yes. trusted, yes. I really trusted the camp kung ano man yung mga tinuturo nila sa akin. I was really taking it by heart. I was doing my assignment. I think Tama. I really did what I know I should, you know, kung, kung ano lang yung makakaya ko. And I, and I really, really did my, my homework watching all the videos as much as I could. Wow. Hagang 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s, napanood ko na yata lahat ng Miss Universe to like really review everything and all the uh-huh. the possibilities that could happen in Miss Universe. So yes. parang waiting game yung pinakamahirap eh during my Tama. during my Tama. Yeah. yeah. Grabe no, yeah. in, the, in the seven years, ang daming nagbago, ang daming natin nagbago-usapan. Pero I'm just gonna skip to this. Kasi, syempre, one big change was naging um, MUPH became its own organization. Yeah. Ano yung naging reaction mo when you heard that news? Tapos naging judge ka pa. So how did you feel when you were invited to judge also? And ang dami kong tanong, tatlong tanong na agad. <laughs> and yun nga, parang judging without an audience. What was that like? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Isn't that, isn't that crazy, ba? Sobrang talagang, I think, na culture shock din yung mga girls na competing for the first time in a different organization, tapos wala pang audience, parang, parang, um, taped as live pa yung, yung pageant nila. Yeah. Um, so, when, when it became independent, I was kind of, but not really, kasi may mga speculation na rin before that. Hindi lang ako, I wasn't really personal, personally like asking people about it. I, mm-hmm. I was hearing things kasi syempre ang dami ko na follow ng mga pageant enthusiasts sa online. So I've been seeing things na mga people are saying that's going to be ganyan, ganito. So parang I was just waiting for it to happen. And then it finally mm-hmm. happened. It was the bestie who became the madam. <laughs> I'm really happy for her. I, know, I think, Grabe. Ano, I think it really suits her kasi 
I I do no too. Sham, see, de ba talagang a girl of conviction yun eh, na talagang she's really firm with what she believes in, and I know that she's mm-hmm. going to take care, take good care of the girls. Um, I know, I know that she fits in the job very, very well. And ayon, um, I'm happy then, because it went to the good hands. I know na sila sila mama J naman talagang very experienced and not just experience wise successful pa sa sa Miss Universe. So I know that they know what they're doing and mm-hmm. it was actually a good start mm-hmm. na sana eh nung pina-follow ko pa lang nung first of the the beginning the first semester of the year nung nangyari na yung yung pageant. It was doing yeah. really, really well. It was going really Mm-mm. well talagang ang ganda ng mga activities ng mga travels nila and then you know the sun of girls that they have talagang very very quality then oh oh solid na parang you can't even kasi normally you have like few favorites diba every year sa mga sa binibini you have four or five favorites ganyan when i was looking yeah. at the girls during miss universe philippines no i was i wasn't ano pa kasi hindi pa naman pandemic noon um i can't even choose na parang kasi it's just one crown for miss universe mm-hmm. philippines unlike in binibini you have five crowns so yeah. um, Ako, oh my gosh, it, it, this is tough, ha? Talagang to compete just for one crown, and it's either win or lose, eh, diba? Yeah. So, Ang actually. It's, it's either you get it or you don't get it, eh. Ganun, ganun, yeah, yung, no. ganun yung, ano, yung sugal mo sa Miss Universe Philippines. It was really, yes. sabi ko, naku, ang hirap, ang hirap ng, ng competition. And then pandemic happened. Actually, nakabuti yon sa mga siguro sa mga first timers kasi na experience na nila somehow. And then they kind of like you know yung mga improvements mo pa toward towards the end. So I think they had more time to prepare. Oh. Sa, Definitely. Well, in, tama ka sa pageant. It, well, it could have been. It could have gone both ways. I guess yung time, like either yeah. you know. Mapapagod ka kasi you have to be Mapapagod on point ka. for Oo. so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was almost the whole year na yeah, you know, yeah. had to make sure they look good all the time. They had to make yeah. sure that they stay <laughs> the relevant on social the media. <laughs> oh, 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 grabe yun na pala yung mag-stress ite. Ako nag-stress ite. Ang hirap ko. Totoo yan. Oh my God. Pero actually, isa sa, isa sa motivation ko nung pandemic, may isang interview si Pia. Sabi niya, parang tinanong ko, Pia, sabi, um, you were talking about work out, and then I watched it. Kasi I was so lazy to work out. That, tapos sabi mo, I do it first thing in the morning, para tapos na. Parang sabi mong ganun. Sabi ko, oh nga, no, ba't ito magawin in the morning, para tapos na. <laughs> so I started working out. Talagang, ginagawa ko na rin siya first thing in the morning. Pero totoo nga, after nun, kasi yun pala yung, yung nangyayari nung mm-hmm. pandemic, na parang sabi ko later na lang, after lunch na lang, or and then, uh, uh, yeah. snack time ko na lang gagawin, and then dinner na lang by dinner, I'm so lazy na, Malana. the next day na lang. So, days has been passing, I'm not even doing anything. Tama. Yeah. So, when I started doing it first thing in the morning, it worked it worked out really well for me then. Talagang everyday, naging ano na siya, yung pinakamahirap kasi the consistency eh. For you to, you know, yeah. to have that consistency that's very, very hard to build. So, ayun, no, naging yes. consistency na talagang nakatulong, nakatulong. So, um, isa sa mga challenges yun sa mga girls. Anyway, going back to Miss Universe Philippines, um, one day, Mama J texted me, sabi niya, hey, um, I'm getting you as a judge sa Miss Universe Philippines. I wasn't parang I was ano pa clueless na ha huh? how is it gonna happen kasi the diba, lockdown tapos mm-hmm. is gonna be parang nakakatakot naman I'm nakakapaning mm-hmm. naman yan paano mm-hmm. how how sure I am that everyone's safe ganyan ganyan yeah. and then sabi na um it's buti na lang may may end the bubble na so parang we kind of have the idea of um what a bubble Do is going to be yeah so, so ayun we took the swab and then ang daming um nakakapanatag din ng loob na bagay is very strict with their protocols na, mm-hmm. um ang daming ang daming mga papers ang daming requirements actually before before kami nakapunta doon um and they were very strict then we're not even allowed to step out of our rooms if it's not for an official activity so it's not like 
you're you're in Baguio, but it's not like you know you're going around or going out. Yeah. We're just in our hotel, and then we're being called if ano na may activity na ganyan. Same as for everyone. Kaya mm-hmm. siguro I think my confusion with other girls. Um, siguro hindi lang nila na intindihan na andam daming protocols na kailangang sunde ng mm-hmm. ng Miss Universe organization. It's really hard for them. Um, considering that manpower is very less na, kasi there's a limit eh, with with the um, oh oh protocols din ng Baguio yun na you can only have a certain number of people. Kasi syempre, social distancing. Um, uh-huh. so isang tao and dami daming wala nang wala yung yung yes. job definition di mo na maintindihan. Parang one person is doing ten jobs na just yeah. napaka it was very I think tough for the for the organization the kudos to them that they were able to survive the pageant. But mm-hmm. I think um, one of the experiences that the girls miss is the energy of the crowd. Yeah. Iba, Totoo yan. Iba. Iba talaga. Talagang paglabas mo and then knowing that your support system is there. Kaya nawalan ako ng bosses that night kasi I was really screaming for all of them. Nung una, nung una talagang isa-isa na... <laughs> energy was not really there and hmm. you're diba iba yung ah nakapanood na ako ng ibang ng andaming live na kasi every year i watch i watch binibini pilipinas live talagang wala medyo mababa yung energy kasi nga walang wala nang cheer so i was really cheering for them i was really trying to you know give the give them the boost and then mm-hmm. <clears throat> um ayun iba iba yung iba yung audience pag may live audience kasi yeah. it's a celebration it's a celebration of beauty celebration of filipina and talagang kinakaaabangan niya ng mga pageant enthusiasts mga pageant lovers na once a year some of them really fly out from other countries for to watch that event kaya mm-hmm. um, i think yun lang yung na-miss ng mga ng mga girls mm-hmm. yeah Totoo. um but all in all i think composure yung you're, you're able to think uh, at your own time na parang hindi ka kasi di ba may booing din sa araneta talaga meron may, may oh, pause ka yeah. <laughs> slight <laughs> pause, pause lang yan talaga <laughs> <laughs> grabe <sabi. laughs> yun naman yung advantage nila while, while answering Tama. the question talagang matahimik yun oh. so they have Tama. they presence of mind talaga mind. they can think very well while answering kasi walang walang mga harsh comments on the side uh, uh-huh. ayun, uh-huh. May, may pros and cons din yung doing it na parang virtual tape yeah tape that's live yeah. yeah with no audience but, yeah with no audience but all in all it was it was different one for <laughs> One for the books. One for the books, definitely, definitely. Uh, <laughs> I think one of um greatest stories that we can share by the future. Oh, this yes. Happens. Oh yeah. Tama. <laughs> for sure. One for the books, talaga. At sa ano hindi na maulit. Oh my gosh, ayoko na. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, one that's time is enough. Pagka na tapos na to lahat, MJ. Pagka na tapos na tong pandemic kanyan. Ano mga pwede abangan na mga um supporters mo sa yo anong pwede naming abangan sa yo meron ka bang anything planned for the future grabe in 2020 i was really excited nung new year la lahat sa tayo ng pagka new year claiming it this is going to be oh. the year <laughs> yes bring it on may mga ganun-ganun pang level pero anyway in 2020 i signed with um, a new management with the uh, virtual playground uh, so i was supposed to do um couple of uh, movie projects with them. So I actually started one movie na, uh, in the beginning of 2020. We're doing a zombie movie. It was very challenging. I was really excited. Actually, um, half pa lang no, nagawa namin nung, um, first uh, part ng 2020, I guess. Yeah, hindi namin natapos. So uh, hmm. I was with Brandon Vera there. Um, actually, yun yung gagawin namin next month. Yeah, next month, tatapusin na namin yung movie. Finally, kasi ano, ang hirap eh, following the protocols, tapos bigla na ganyan variant, so ang dami na namang new 
Med- medyo, ah, I know that it's kind of frustrating but we really have to comply kasi lahat naman tayo nangangapa, diba? even the government's having a hard time. Kasi hindi hmm. na, wala, hindi natin alam yung incubation period. First time ever. Bagong, Variant, yeah, first time ever. We don't have, you know, we don't have the book to follow kung anong, anong gagawin. Dapat or, gawin. So, yeah, showbiz, gawin. showbiz, movies, yun yung aabangan. Yeah. May pangalan na ba yung movie? May title na siya? Um, I am not, Day Zero yung title, pero I'm not sure if it's final. Final. Okay. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to this kasi hindi pa ako gumagawa ng movie. I was doing uh, mga TV series before with ABS after my raid. And this year, uh, 2020 was actually the first year na yung mga gagawin ko na lang sana, mga movies na lang. Para oh, I level up, up. mom! <laughs> movies! <laughs> movies! <laughs> I have more time na to do hmm. other things. Kasi I really, I really dream of. I have other dreams then na parang I wanted to start Tama. a small business. Yung mga ganun, yung, yung parang I can use the the time to do other things yeah. then for myself. Yeah. You know, hindi na tayo bumabata. Maybe in the future you want to have family na rin or like whatever, di ba? So parang I was Totoo. kind of like trying to manage to manage my time na. So sana mm-hmm. this year, I'm, I'm still very hopeful and very positive na um, mangyari lahat yung mga na pause for a little bit yeah. um, last year. So ayun, sana po abangan yung, um, yeah. yung mga projects na ano na gagawin ko this year. I'm really looking forward. For sure. Kasi sobrang iba sa pageant world. Ayan. Mm-hmm. Sobrang ibang iba sa glitz and glamour and six inches heels. <laughs> True. <laughs> Ayoko na. <laughs> minsan nga hindi nga six inches. Minsan umaabot na sa seven inches, eight inches. Oh, Nung panahon yes. natin, ang taas-taas ng mga takong na lumalabas. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, share yung shoes natin, comfy siya. Yung matutukamataas natin, it wasn't uncomfortable. Because the platform in front is high. So, yeah. It's like you're you're in the first step of the stairs lang. At daladala mo yun. All the time. <laughs> All the time you're on the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Parang <laughs> sumasama. <laughs> Alright, MJ. So, so before we end this, of course, we would like to ask you, um, what would your advice be to aspiring beauty queens who are watching us now? Um, when you're in the competition, give your all. Ito do mo na. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. I know it's going to be there. The hesitations, the fear, self-doubt. It's going to be there. Acknowledge it. But make sure that you have given your 100%. Ito do mo na. Kasi... Who knows, diba? It's going to be your last competition or maybe second or maybe third. So what's what's the worst that's going to happen? If you win, good for you. If you lose, try again. Diba? It don't be don't be ashamed of losing. It's okay. And it's not it, it's never too late to make an improvement. Yan nagin sina sabi ko. Kasi, minsan kasi nanjan ka na, tapos you're not. Alam mo yun, half-baked ka. Baka magkaroon ka ng regret eh. Oh, na sana tama. ginawa ko to. Na sana hindi ginawa ko to. So, make sure na pag nandiyan ka sa competition, you're 101% give, give it all. Pag, na, pag natapos yan, whatever happened, then make a new dream. It's okay. We, we always have, you know, or maybe you have second time, third time like me. But it's yeah. never too late to always make a new dream. Just always give your best. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sige, sali, sali na tayo sa ano, Mrs. Universe. Mrs. Universe. Ay! <laughs> new dream. Sipiyan <laughs> ka lang pala yung pwede. <laughs> Kasi pilihan nasa honeymoon eh. Baka, 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 baka sa honeymoon si Pilihan. Baka mauna sa honeymoon si Pilihan. Baka mauna sa honeymoon si Pilihan. Baka Oh, no. <laughs> 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 is there a Mrs. Universe? Is there a Mrs. Universe? Ba? I don't think it's Mrs. Universe. It's Mrs. International, right
Hindi meron ako sure. Ba? Meron nga ba? Parang meron. Alam ko meron. meron Alam ko ba? meron talaga. Oh, guys, maybe But our journeys are not yet that. over. Charo. <laughs> 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 Na-inspired kay. Pag nakikita ko kasi si MJ, parang, sige na nga, pageant pa ko ulit. Na-inspired. <laughs> <laughs> What is iba-iba yung mga, ano, yung mga husbands from other countries? So, so we're representing other countries. So, nagkita ko pa rin. Sobrang clingy. <laughs> <laughs> Meron daw, sabi ng chat, meron Mrs. Universe. Ah, meron Ma. daw. Meron. Uy. Bakit MJ, may, may pa-love life ka ba dyan? Siya! Alam mo naman, alam mo naman, alam mo naman, alam mo naman ako, very private person. Ang dami, ang dami yung nagtatanong. Yes, we respect that privacy. <laughs> MJ, thank you so much for guesting. Sobrang thank saya. You. Dami ko pang actually gustong pag-usapan. Kailangan na din ang part 2. Oo nga. Teka, nakapla na ba ta? Oh my gosh. Nagpasupas mo na. One hour. We will invite you again. Yes. <laughs> Anytime. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. We love you. Thank you for guesting. Thank you, girls. Thank you for inviting me. It's really fun. Yes. I'll see you again soon. Ang galing na rin nyo. Ipagpatuloy nyo to kasi talagang this is a good platform na alam nyo, alam nyo yun for for a lot of beauty queens then to be candid. Kasi minsan yung mga oh, oh. <laughs> normally kasi pag mga puro pageant um, interviews na lang masyadong nagiging stiff na and alam mo yun, they're, yeah. they're, they're just saying what they're expected to say. Yung mga beauty pageant questions yung mga ganun. So I love that there's a platform like this na parang pwedeng chikahan lang. It's a good way then for fans to get to know them better. Diba? Totoo. Na parang Beyond the crown. Oo, oh, oh, napapakita yung personality talaga nila. And yeah. ayun, na maging so. more... Kasi syempre, iba na yung Miss Universe ngayon. Eh. It's more of, you know, a representation of who you really are. Hindi na, yung, mm-hmm. hindi na yung parang you ramp na lang and then answer good answer and then try to win it. Yung parang hindi na siya ganun eh. So it's really a different era na for pageantry. So this is a really good platform, girls. Congratulations sa uh, thank, thank you. successful na show. At thank you thank na pumayo sa uh, agad, agad sa request oh, namin. Oh, oh, <laughs> Totoo. <laughs> are, thank you. Are you really thinking that I will say no to this? Of course not. Oh. <laughs> 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 thank you. Know. Thank you. Ano? No, I will never say no. Okay, so part two. Yes. Part two na. Okay. Locking it in. <laughs> Agree yung ating ano, queendom. Oo, oh, so yeah. Nagre-reklamo oh, yeah. sila. Ang dami daw di na-discuss kayo ha. Ah. Bakit? So, ano gusto niya pag-usapan na? Oo, bakit? 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 Intriga. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kayo naman. Baka, baka naman iniisip nyo the buzz to. Hindi po. Gusto nyo catch up lang. It's just a catch up lang. Queen 2. Well, queen 2 ha. Part 2 daw. MJ part 2. Literal na Queen 2. Ayan. Sige, yes. so, yes, schedule na. Kaya na mag-guest. Andito lang ako. Wala na talaga. <laughs> Grabe. Grabe. <laughs> O, oh, yun din ah! Ibi na ba sa last option ka? Oo. Oh, <laughs> Ilista nyo na ako sa mga backup options. Lakalakan. <laughs> Thank you so much, MJ. Talagang Thank you. MJ, all the way. Love you, girls. Love you. Bye. Naghang ako. Naghang si Pia. Pero we can still hear you. Naghang ako. Ah, talaga, narinig ako. Sino yung naghang na ang ganda ng fizz? Si Gazini? Pia. Ay, oh, si Pia rin. Pero parang, ano namin, tinitingnan namin yung grabe, sobrang photogenic niya kahit oh. naghang sa mga guests na. Pia, <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> Pia you good? Pia, try mo off yung cam mo. Ba- try mo off. Baha, baha, yeah. maha Ay, work. Ay, kina ako. Wala pa rin. Wala pa rin. Ayan, 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 ayan. We're good, we're good. Good, good, good. All right. 
Thank you so much to everyone who joined us, the Queendom, sa mga new viewers ng Quintuhan. Sana nag-enjoy kayo. At panoorin nyo na rin lahat ng aming previous episodes sa YouTube ni Pia or sa Tripod Network Facebook page. And of course, you can also listen to us because we are a podcast. Pakinggan nyo rin kami on Spotify. Any final messages, guys? Guys, thank you sa pag-join nyo sa amin dito sa ating live na kwentuhan. We'll see you again in two weeks. In the meantime, kung gusto nyo na recap ng ating mga episodes, pwede kayong pumunta sa YouTube or sa Spotify. I-follow nyo na kami. Uh, I-play nyo siya habang nagda-drive kayo, habang naliligo, habang nagme-make up. Magkwentuhan tayo. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, grabe, ilang beses na namin sinabi to. I promise you, we... We're not just teasing. There really is something big and great coming up. And we're just waiting for the go signal to tell you guys. Because it's a joke. This is this not BS. This is true. So please watch out for that. And we really, really need all your support when we you know, start this new venture. So we're very, very excited to finally talk about that soon. So yes. um, thank you. <laughs> soon. So thank you again so much. And I guess we'll see you in the next episode of... Queen Duhan! Bye, guys! Wala akong aray ngayon. And be careful. <laughs>